day 12, the grand finale. How about 12 smoke rings floating? Whoosh bottle. Don't put your head over. Bernoulli. Principal! Science Claus is headed to the North Pole. We like to call this demonstration elephant toothpaste, so we've got a toothbrush just in case an elephant walks by. All you need is a little bit of hydrogen peroxide, a little bit of food coloring, some soap, and we're gonna add the soap first. And then we're going to add the food coloring to make it interesting. I'm going to mix it a little bit. And when I add my potassium iodide to hydrogen peroxide, there's going to be a decomposition reaction. And it's going to change into iodine and potassium hydroxide and, of course, pure hydrogen gas that's going to be trapped in those bubbles that we added. So here we go. Check out elephant toothpaste. I got my toothbrush ready. Look at all that toothpaste. Here it goes. Now this steam coming off of it is because it's an exothermic reaction. Look at all that toothpaste. Plenty for an elephant coming by. My name's Justin Abner. I teach sixth grade at Maplewood Elementary and I love liquid nitrogen. My name is Mary Mason and I teach at Chapelwood Elementary, sixth grade. Sound waves are moving, vibrating, and awesome. My name is Allison Kempers at the Wayne Township Preschool. Science is everywhere. My name is Keith Ramsey. I'm at Bridgeport Elementary and I love chemistry. Rick Crosland, or Science Claus. Everybody can do science. This is the grand, grand finale. The liquid nitrogen ping pong explosion. All you need is liquid nitrogen and some ping pong balls. Cap the lid, drop it in the water, and put the ping pong balls in. Here we go. <laughs> Not bad. No, no, that's bad. Not bad. Oh, and that is a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Oh my gosh. Thank you, guys.